The following is a non-profit fan parody. Reign the Conqueror is owned by Hiroshi Aramata, Kadokawa Shoten, and Tokyo Pop. Please support the official release. Long ago, there was a prophecy foretold. What? What is that? Of a man. <sighs> I will not allow this, Olympias! Destined to destroy. There are so many, so many good, so many bad. But you plan to give birth to this of all things? As my burly man legs as my witness, this ends now! The abridged world. Ah! Burly man legs, why have you forsaken me? Now, my Alexander. Rise, and let your abridged series bring this world to its knees. La, 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 la. How quaint. The series proper starts the same way I was born. Hmm. Russian submersible Alexander. Submerge. Prince! The War Council is start- By Zeus's lightning diarrhea! Wait! Yes, Philotus, I'm sure he'll notice you just as much as you noticed him levitating in open air in an open palace that any flying Pythagorean cult member could just levitate around in without being seen. Well, I didn't know who it was. Everything's so weird here, I thought maybe he was part of the decor. Also, what the Hades is up with doing an action scene in your underwear? Well, would you rather expose yourself to the unpleasant sight of how I am hung when it's drawn by Peter Chung? as it flops around as my sword was swung. Uh, what say you on this, Hephaestion? Hello? Enough. Segway to me being washed by women only Aeon Flux fans could find attractive. Uh, Prince, you're needed at the War Council. You know, Philotus, I could order these chambermaids to have oral sex with me. Uh, yes, yes, you could. Mm, but I'm not. What does that mean? Nothing. Everything, as I am not that kind of prince. So by conclusion, I shall not join the council. Besides, Macedonia's army is as slow as the prologue to Kingdom Hearts, and what is needed is speed. Wait! Hephaestion, play us out of here. Sonic boom, Sonic boom, Sonic boom. Rapper keeps you running faster. Sonic boom, Sonic boom, Sonic boom. Save the planet from disaster. And so, like Earth, fire, air, and water, when you build upon your abridged series, so should your dialogue flow and script and editing be balanced, lest it turn to chaos. Master, the series protagonist has arrived. Very well. Class dismissed. See you next establishing scene. Ah, my prince. You look well, my dear Aristotle. And how goes the children's version of Nicomachean ethics? Ah, the Nickelodeon ethics. Not too bad. Although my introductory chapter on how we as sponges are mired in the darkness of the pineapple needs work, my entry on how we bend the elements looks fine. But I believe that is not what you come for. Indeed, just wanted to apply the appeal to authority logic argument so I could move the plot along. And? While good things take time, would you still prefer it done faster than slower? Pretty much. And that's all I needed. Later, I'm off to tame a monster horse. Ah, Mr. Oedipus. So that is his name. Has it perhaps something to do with him killing his father and marrying his mother? No, because he talks. Well, why is he called a monster, then? He also likes to eat people. Oh, Wilbur, if you only fed me my oats, I wouldn't have eaten Carol and Mr. Addison here. Come on, Oedipus. 
Can't we start over? I don't think you realize the gravitas of your predicament. Perhaps a set of horse teeth for your carotid artery will help fix that. Well, shit. Later that night. So, this is where our prize lays, Ptolemy. Indeed, he stays here, luring adults and children into the forest with goofy voices and antics, but then a half hour later, all that is heard is the crushing of bones. Clytus, why must I stay? Think of this as repayment for saving your hide against soldiers whose modesty unexpectedly comes back when being emasculated. Such boldness you have, Clytus. <laughs> Just what you expect from the only worthwhile soldier wearing a pair of trousers. But enough. The hunt begin. Don't underestimate me, bags. But how did you- Well, to summarize, if I can speak to you, then I could understand you intriguing behind my back. Tis one of the many perks that comes from being the renowned Mr. Oedipus. Why are you called that anyway? I don't know. Probably. Because it fits perfectly to my jovial, wacky, and murderous equine outlook on life. And fit it does, fit it does. What say you? Prince, be careful. Cheesy Pete's for Lotus, somebody shove rotten hummus up your ass today. Besides, I'm the charismatic protagonist. What's the worst that could happen? Ah, uh, that? Well, at least I'm not the one who was oblivious to. Could we drop that, please? Well, you're the one objecting to everything I do. And look what you've done. Distracted us long enough to all be encased in lime jello. Why is that my fault? It just is, Philotus. It just is. The world is square. So say it, Pythagoras, lord of averages, songs, and questions. But you who are an odd number seek to destabilize this even world. And for that, <laughs> suffice to say your number is up. That was lame. Ah, oh, feel your pain. How dare you say that? Such power. Is this what it means to be charismatic? No, I just hate lame puns. It makes me very logic-defyingly angry. As do I. And if that's the case as well as you being unlike those unkind sort of folk, I reckon this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship, Mr. Alexander. Indeed. Just make sure you keep that dubious voice silent for the rest of the series. Well, at least let me make a snad comment from town to town, unless you want to wake up one morning to see me dining on those lips of yours. Hmm. Deal. Your Majesty, a poorly rendered CG mass is advancing to our position. Ah, must be our dear Alexander, finally ready to start this series in earnest. Lest Macedonia be trampled underfoot by Athens, he better be. For our sake, and Olympus for them, the whole of raging world. Yes, it's a moment that we will behold with great immediacy. Too bad we'll have to wait for the next episode to see it happen. Wait, what bloody crap? And I was looking forward to make snide commentary about his appearance. Uh, oh well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, before you go, I managed to discover the answer to whether that first fight scene was a moment of WTF or epic. And, well, it's actually a moment of... What the fepic? What the fepic? What the fepic? <laughs>